this is yellow boy whispering back for another video look at you guys you get a two for one special today so as you already know um i told you that my microphone is here and i would like to keep it kind of close to me so yeah that's what that black thing is there um so this is going to be my second video uploading for you guys um it is i think about two in the morning here on the west coast um i'm just up i can't go to work um i'm off for medical leave so i decided i would like to do another video for you all today um you know just hope i get better at this but anyway uh what i'm gonna do is i will share with you um i have a selection of about 40 movies what of which i consider uh scary or scary comedy or some way in the horror genre um ranging from the early 80s all the way to up to date till now so i'm just going to show a few and uh just tell you about them and what i do like about it and what i do not like about them and we'll go from there okay so number one Let's see. Okay. So, as you can hear, this movie is brand new, still packaged. on for 
for some reason I don't know why but it was nighttime and I was the only one up and my grandmother was asleep but she was on the couch and I was sitting behind her once the movie came on and I remember I was so scared I was shaking watching this movie behind my grandmother but yeah this is a good movie um there's like five or four, four or five parts of this movie um I know one and two are very good actually my favorite is number two uh, I can't release I, I saw number three four I can't remember if there is a number five but if there is I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> but um, there is a new candy man that is coming out or has already came out in the movie theaters or will be coming out Candyman, if I suggest if you like scary movies, psychological movies, um, I suggest you go ahead and make sure that you see this movie, Candyman, starring Tony Todd as the killer. Okay, uh, I hope I'm not boring you guys. I'm actually having fun. I like this. I'm actually excited that I'm actually on camera again and getting out of this camera shy thing because... I've been camera shy for a very, very long time now, and yeah, it's okay. I'm breaking out of that. But yeah, so the next movie that we're gonna go to, that's an old school. Let's try to find something new. Oh, here's another, this is a new, this is a newer movie. They came out maybe about two, three, two, three years ago. Um, but it's good, and it's, it, it's not scary, but it is scary. But the story was good. Once you get to the end. <clears throat> scary stories to tell in the dark. By Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Guillermo, excuse me. Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> scary stories to tell in the dark so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the synopsis of the story and tell you what it says it's 1968 in america change is blowing in the wind but seemingly far removed from the unrest in the city is the small town of mill valley where for generations the shadow of the Bellows family has loomed large. It is in their mansion on the edge of town that Sarah, a young girl with her horrible secrets, turned her tortured life into a series of scary stories written in a book that has transcended time. For a group of teenagers who in the spine-tingling film produced by Oscar winner Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. Um, I'm not sure who the star of the movie is, but um, this little girl is the star of the movie. Um, well, I think she's the lead character, but it's like them and a couple of other people but she's the one who yeah i'm not going to tell you the movie but um yeah if you like another good scary movie it's not too scary but it is it's it's good it's it's good i liked it um scary stories to tell in the dark that's number two. Let's see. I got so many more scary movies in front of me. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys, but I have a lot of them. Um, so my next one. Hmm, let's see if I can do a little bit of scratching. I hope that's not too loud. I was going to record the video way earlier, but it was a lot going on. And people, everybody was still woke. My neighbors upstairs, they turned on the music and turned it up loud like they had a whole party upstairs. <laughs> but 
yeah so here i am at two three in the morning trying to make this video so anyways it's all good so we're going on to the next movie oh with some good ones oh here's a good one sure if any of you have seen this movie but this is a good movie also um, it does have to do with a forest in Hong Kong I think but anyways let's get to it I'll tell you or does anybody have a guess I give you two seconds one two <laughs>
it's one of my movies. That, oh, and his this movie is considered like um, a, it's considered m m more like I wouldn't say horror. Like I said, it was old school horror, like early '80s horror. But now, in the '90s, in the 2000s, it's not considered horror. It's kind of like corny corny uh, corny um horror slash comedy something like that like it's just another movie that's very nostalgic like you get it and you watch it and you'll be like oh man i remember i used to watch that movie when i was a kid like that's how you feel when you watch the movie that's honestly why i like watching a lot of old movies like if you see most of my movies here in my house i have a lot of old movies because those are the movies that I grew up watching those are the movies that my mother showed me and, and my family showed me when we were little and you know those movies had good values not to discount or discredit any new movies that's out now or has been out since you know in the future but it seemed like the old movies were more like family oriented it was kind of like they you know made sure it was always some type of message or family orientation of some type of message in there in a movie you know something but yeah that's why i like old movies a lot so moving on to the next movie this video we are now at 22 minutes i am very excited y'all that i'm doing so well on the camera let me see can you see me very well Okay. <laughs> Lighting is really, really well, like really good. Y'all can see everything. <laughs> Y'all can see everything. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's go to another movie. So that's four of my favorite horror some type of genre movie that was an old movie let's try to find something more modern oh i got one i got so many movies over here y'all to make sure I don't drop them. Okay. So, I was told about this movie by a few people. Um, a few from work also. Um, I miss my job. Of the Graham family pass 
passes away, her daughter's family begins to unravel cryptic and increasingly terrifying secrets about their ancestry. The more they discover, the more they find themselves trying to outrun the sinister fates they seem to have inherited. Making his feature debut, writer-director Audrey Astor unleashes a nightmare vision of a domestic breakdown that exhibits the crowds and precision of a nascent altar transforming a familial tragedy into something ominous and deeply disquieting and pushing the horror movie into chilling new terrain with its shattering portrait of portrait of heritage gone to hell now um Excuse me, I itching on camera, but um, I know, I know I should be scratching my eye like that, but they itch. But anyways, um, this movie right here for real. Now this movie is a movie that'd be like, wow, wow. <laughs> like I remember, I was, I was a little high when I watched the movie. Um the very first time and I was shook like that movie is good but it's 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 good you guys should watch it also if you see me kind of keep leaning to the right or fidgeting and turning is because of my injury in my back um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was, but excuse me. Um, so, my injury in my spine, um, it kind of prohibits me to sit in the same spot for a few minutes because the pressure builds up in my spine and it hurts like hell to stay seated in one spot for more than like a few minutes minutes so you'll see me keep moving and turning and stuff like that and excuse me for that but after i have my surgery it'll all be back to normal so okay but um we're moving on to another one so people that's number five of my favorite movies or scary movies genre movies to watch Okay, let's see what else we have. What else do we have? I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really am. I really am. I don't really get to get out much. Um, I've been on bed rest for about... So, it really got bad in the last couple of months to where I could barely walk. Um, like, literally barely walk. Like, to get up, there was pain every day. And... It, it, it hurt it to walk. It got to the point where I had to actually stop going to work. Um, so I'm off on medical leave right now. Um, we do know what the problem is. Everything is set to get fixed on the 30th. So I should be back to normal about two months after that. And I should be good, so I'm really, really ready to get this over with. You guys don't know. I've been in pain for like two and a half years, and it was scary because I didn't know what was wrong with me. I didn't know what was wrong with me, and I just know that I was in a lot of pain, and it wasn't any joke, and the scary part was people thought I was faking a lot when I would say that my leg hurt or it hurts to walk or something and I went to the doctor so I got x-rays they said that nothing was wrong with me and I kept telling them something is wrong with me and they found out what it was so now it's getting fixed but um yeah it's been hell and I'm just ready to be able to stand up I can't stand up straight my I'm kind of curved over because of my back, but since the medicine they've been giving me kind of has helped, um, it's taken away some of the pain, but still there's pressure when I sit down and it's excruciating or when I 
turn a certain way or when I sit on my left side or even just lay flat or sit too long it hurts like hell and people they can't see it so they don't understand it and they think I'll be joking around and I'm like this shit hurts really really bad but anyways yeah that's a story for another time matter of fact if you guys want to hear the story leave a comment below let me know if that's something you want to know period anything you guys can talk to me i'm an open door you guys can talk to me i'm a good listener um if you guys want to hear any type of videos or see any type of videos requests let me know uh i do have an instagram i think i'm gonna wait a couple of videos before i actually give out my instagram to see where my channel goes and to see how well i do with you know my content and followers and getting everything together so we'll see how that goes but i may release it a couple videos from now but i am on instagram um i'm here on youtube these are the only two social medias i have oh and i have a snapchat but no you know i don't really be on there but um yeah and then this and i'm i'm just excited to now finally have all the equipment that i needed to start doing videos i even got green screens black backdrops um microphones cameras i got everything like mics um because as you guys know i act also haven't been able to do it for the past couple of years but um definitely as soon as i have this surgery this next week i am matter of fact no the surgery is this week it is it's this friday i just thought about that wow but yeah once i get this surgery and i'm back on track i'm so ready to get back to it exercising everything i can do anything you guys no exercise no nothing it hurt it but we're moving on so i'm getting a little sleepy the video was already at 33 minutes i'm actually glad that i had enough to talk about and there's so much more i can talk to you guys about about different stuff everything and like i said i'm an open door if you guys want to talk to me ask me questions give me any suggestions of anything how you guys think i can improve my channel my audio um if you guys know anything about the blue yeti caster microphone um what if any of you guys have a blue yeti which i know many of you asm artists out there do that's the reason why i got a blue yeti is because most of you have them so um i just need to kind of know what are the good settings to set it on because i mean i'll look again but just from you guys you guys are you know you guys are people who you know you use the product so you guys will tell me the truth versus reading the manual so just let me know any type of settings um i do have a camera a video camera i'm not to tech savvy on editing and stuff like that so i don't really like i try to make it as simple as possible as long as you guys can see me and i promise this view will get better it's just everything is small right now in my area and i just need to figure out how to set it up uh me and my boyfriend we we have a, a small apartment in la but we're working towards getting bigger apartment we both act like i said we both do a lot of stuff so right now we just got a small place and we're trying to fit everything in here and then we'll upgrade you know as things come but right now this area is small i have to just move some things around so in the next couple of videos you'll notice there is a difference of the view of my videos and me but that'll come later um anyways um like i said excuse me i need some water
so it is 35 minutes now into the video i'm not going to stay on here too much longer it is getting pretty late i'm kind of getting tired my eyes are red too kind of glazed over i'm a little hungry but i'm like i don't know but i don't know but anyways I might just get a little snack but anyways um everybody thank you for joining in on my channel thank you for the followers that i do have thank you for the people who have waited patiently for me to be able to get back to videos making videos and everything um thank you i'm back i should be able to post more videos and get a routine schedule i'm not going to promise because i will be very 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 busy once I get back to a point where I'm able to walk around like a regular person and move around and exercise. I'm going to be, we got plans. So we're going to be out moving around, exercising, doing so much things. But you guys will also know because if you, once I share my Instagram and my social medias with you guys, you guys can keep up with me. I'll keep up with you. We're going to grow this channel together. We're going to be a family. The Whispers. The Whispers family, that's what we'll be. You guys will be my whisperers. No, 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 no. I'm going to figure out something. I'm going to come up with something for our channel. Just specifically for our channel. As a family, my channel is open to all discussions, all types of... We can discuss and talk about anything on my channel. It doesn't matter. It's free. We love all. God is love. Love is God. God is love. That's what we know. That's what I represent. So if you follow my channel and if you like what I put out there, then you got to know that I don't like negativity or anything negative. And if it is negative, I'm really, really good at just deflecting it, bouncing and dodging it away because it's just not that serious to me as long as you know whatever we're not gonna get into that but we're good i'm happy we're gonna grow this channel together we're gonna be a big family we're gonna have fun we're gonna do a lot of things we're gonna just grow and just do a lot of things okay so stay tuned the next video i'm not sure what it will be but we'll figure it out if you guys have any suggestions leave me some comments leave me some inboxes let me know what you want to see because i am excited to be back on youtube i have fun it's now 38 31 i feel like i'm getting sleepy <laughs> have a good night youtube